Welcome back for another EDC video. So, today I am showing you my EDC bag again. Well, it's not been too long since last time, but some things have changed, some things have been added, and I am really struggling to, um, you know, restrict myself on what I want to keep in my bag or not. So, just a quick rundown here. I have my phone in an auto box, which is an iPhone SE, I think it's called this one. I'm not really sure. But yeah, and then my pocket caddy, this goes in my pocket, and then this one goes in my pocket with the Olight. Let's see, the model number is i3T EOS, which is a two mode AAA flashlight. And then I carry a extendable Zebra pen. And of course, my old trusty Victorinox Tinker model, which has the two knives, um, screwdriver, bottle opener, screwdriver, can opener, all, and screwdriver. So, yeah, that's my pocket stuff as of right now. I'm trying to keep some stuff in the bag to lighten my pocket load. So, in the front pocket here is my keys. I'll try not to show you my keys, but uh, the SD Classic, the Fox 40 whistle, and the Olight i3E EOS. So I'm just going to hide my keys so nobody breaks into my house and steals my stuff. You know how it goes. And then my credit card, store cards, student card, uh, like access to the university, and stuff like that, and a little bit of cash as well in there. Okay. And of course, hand sanitizer. That's my pocket stuff right there. And then, and ah, and my front, front pocket stuff of the, the carrier, which is keys and the wallet and sanitizer. Easy access, you know, I can put my, put my phone in here as well if I want to. Then it comes to the main pocket, which is just one big pocket, okay? So, some things have changed. I'm trying to make it lighter so I can fit a water bottle when I need a water bottle. That's my main problem currently, so... Now it's space for a water bottle in here, but I don't have one currently, right now, so... Reusable shopping bag. These are quite handy. They also fit a lot more than a regular shopping bag, and this one was quite small. So, yeah, we have lots of these ones. I just forget to take them because they're a little bit bulky. This one was a little bit smaller than the other ones. So, yeah, we'll see when I forget this one. And then it will go in the kitchen drawer with all the 30 other ones which we have. So, yeah. Then, I will go through my toolkit. So, this one has shrunk and grown and shrunk and grown a few times. So, you know, a uh, Ziploc bag, small Ziploc bag, duct tape notebook book of matches for some reason I kind of wanted to have one in here now it, uh, yeah emergency cash and here I have some cash and some paper clips it is uh, how much is it in dollars about sixty dollars something like that in there spare cell phone with a battery turn around covered in plastic the battery is covered in plastic Zip ties, lighter, chapstick, small water pump pliers, one meter measuring tape, just cheap one off of eBay. These ones come in handy quite often. Airplugs, guitar pick for prying plastic. If you're gonna pry plastic and you poke your metal knife in there and bend, you will damage the plastic with this one, you will not. So. That's super useful. And then batteries for the flashlights. This one is a small cosmetics container. And in here, I have coins. <laughs> yeah, it was not opening, wanted to open one-handed, but in here it's coins. It's like, I don't know, 15 bucks maybe. And then a nail clipper. So that's my toolkit. Let's just get it out of the way for now and then comes the next part 
Let's see here. In the bottom of my bag, I carry my gloves and then I just decided to put the dust mask in between the gloves here. So this is an FFP free mask. That's, I guess that's the European classification. This one will filter smoke particles, okay? The other ones don't. If you want to see the classification here it is, you can search that if you want to. FFP free is the one you search for here at least. So yeah, and then leather gloves. And finally, in the bag, something a little bit different now, trying out the new system. So I stuck my rats <laughs> just in this reflective armband on top here. So it's easy access and it's wrapped and staged ready to use. So I can just pull it off my little teeth, stick the arm through or leg through and then start wrapping. I prefer my cat, but I'm looking for an alternative for my cat. Yeah, for my cat. I want to get one of those inside the waistband holsters for it. But uh, yeah, it looks cool, but you know. Hmm. Maybe I will get the Softy Wide Gen 4 when it comes to the store which I purchased from, which is Israeli First Aid, because they ship internationally quite inexpensively. And that one would be much nicer to carry inside the waistband than the uh, cat due to the, all the Velcro which is on it. And then I got one of these Rescue Me tools, a genuine one, not an eBay one. So this is for breaking windows, also for cutting belts and cutting clothing as well. And then we have gone lightweight with the first aid kit, which we are currently currently using, which is a Helicontex first aid pouch. I can't remember the model number of it, but it's the smallest one. You will find it on Amazon and eBay. In here, current setup is nitrile gloves, Israeli military field dressing, this is general field dressing, H&H &H compressed gauze flat pack, and then we have all the small goodies. So, packing gauze for, you know, the big stuff and the bandage here for the other stuff. I was thinking, I, was, I had a um, T3 in here for quite a long time, and currently I'm trying these ones out because it becomes a little bit slimmer with these two and the elastic like considering elastic in a general in the public civilian situation I do carry an Israeli bandage in my um, range bag um, but in general public use I think you don't really need it as much somebody else can keep pressure you know, if you need to pack a wound and keep pressure, you're usually not all alone, so you can tell somebody to keep pressure on your leg or whatever, if you, you know. And more people might be familiar with more general supplies than a combat dressing. So, water purifying tablets, uh, Imodium for diarrhea, tampon for the wife, paracetamol in the butt type, 250 milligrams for the Tylenol for the children. CPR face mask because you don't want to get puked in by somebody on a drug overdose. Nuke pills, um, iodine, you know, 130 milligram tablets for nuclear disaster. Keep them with you. Tylenol. Sharpie with a small piece of tape or a an expensive Sharpie type of thing. And then, in the top pocket here, gloves, and more gloves, and, and the general Google kit in here, which consists of, if I can get it out one-handed, here we are, chlorhexidine wound wash wipe, some plasters, different sizes, um, compete, second skin, mole skin, this, you know, that type, a toothpick, a condom, sterile strip, and some burn gel, burn shield. So yeah, that's what I currently carry. Okay, these gloves, they are a little bit large, but they fit in the bottom, so it's no big, big deal. My toolkit is the one which is kind of taking a lot of space in my bag. So yeah, that's my bag currently.
Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.